<laughs> She's on. Just back her up. Let me back up. Yeah, just back her up a little bit. All right. We'll make sure. I don't know how you point this right, thing. That's fine. We want to make sure it's pointed right about here. -ish. Yeah, that little knot right there. All right. <coughs> Let's see. All right. And I want to do some shout outs. Before that, maybe somebody very special will walk up. Hey, how, how you doing there, Look sir? Who it is. Uh, yeah, uh, I just happened to be passing by there, and I saw you sitting at this bench right here. Uh, it's kind of kind of strange there. Hey, man, what kind of goodies you got here? Oh, you should have seen it. I got some ri river bark birch. Uh, is that river birch bark? River birch bark. Or barking rivers. Barking rivers. Barking rivers birch bark. Come down. Look at us. Come hey, closer. Hey. Hey everybody up in YouTube land, this is Amateur Artist Mark D, channel from Mainland. Y'all know who I am. And this right here happened to be the cookie. Ranger cookie, as a matter of fact. Hey, you got you a package. Who'd you get it from? Oh, I got a package today. Uh, I'm doing a VR to them and some shout outs. I got some, eh, some river birch, he said. I believe that's what it said. Uh, this is like thin paper. Wow, that stuff is thin. Let me check that out a second. Wait, wait, and he also gave me. We ain't got none of that down here in Mississippi, I guarantee you. Oh, shit. Where wow. And he also gave me an Indian head, if I can find <laughs> Holy moly, that stuff is thin. That's like six, seven layers here. Yeah, and uh. It gave me an Indian head I can't find. <coughs> All right. Didn't you just have it? Yeah, <laughs> I just it. have it right. somewhere. Hit it. <laughs> yeah. Damn. This may not work like I'm thinking, by the way. It's kind of rough. It's kind of OK, up. there it is. Edit, cut. Uh, <laughs> all right, and action. And he also gave me one of these Indian heads. Here, Indian arrowheads. It looks like it needs to be more carved out, but I guess. But take a look. And he gave me some river birch or birch. Barking from a river. I like that. <laughs> Barking from a river. I dropped a piece. Pick it up, evil baby. He's over there looking at it like, whoa, it's, it's just a leaf. Yeah, but it's a cool leaf. This is expensive. It's cost $3.40. All right, so we want to try something now here. Thank you, sir. Cookie, yep. since you said try, that just happened to make me think about something. What you got? Well, I'm going to tell you something. You know a cotton picker by the name of, uh, let's see. No, not Carolina Chris Outdoors. I'm saving that for another video. This had to be Chris Collier, all the way from Canada. Chris Collier, yeah, I heard hey, of him. Yes, sir. He's famous up there in Canada. He's got a dog by the name of Ben. And it had to woof, be woof, Ben woof. that is the president of the Green Cup Society. Well, I joined his cup club about a year ago. Yeah, I tell you oh, what. Like that. I love that channel. That's Chris Collier of Chris Collier's channel. And it should be called Ben Collier, but, you know, anyway, the, the jury's still out on that. But he sent me a box a little while back, just before the Voo 2. And I brought the box with me. Unfortunately, I shot so much video, I was not able to get around to showing all the goodies in that box like I wanted to. What kind of goodies you had? Well, now, he sent me this right here. This is a genuine USDA approved Pathfinder School Flint and Steel Kit. It's got a little makeshift type of leather bag. It's got a piece of flint in there, and it has a steel. Look at their now, pretty picture. he sent two. I kept one. That's right, I'm greedy. <laughs> you had this right here, and that just made me think. I'm wondering if that flint and steel will actually ignite that river birch bark. River birch bark with flint and steel. What That's, kind of flint and steel? It's kind of neat. I've been playing with it. And I'll tell you what. I fell in love with it. Now, that right there is a wick, a regular old uh, uh, oil lamp wick. And what he's done is he charred, or whoever sent the thing, charred one end of it so that when you're uh, doing it on the flint, well, I'll show you, I'll show you. You put this on top, hit it a few strikes, and it's supposed to light up with an ember. And it does work. I've tried it myself. Well, the other package I did. I don't know about this wow, one. Wow, it's, it's a one of them 
It's a magnet. <laughs> yeah, tuning fork. <laughs> All right, we got a tuning fork, a uh, lantern. Lantern wick. Lantern wick. And a genuine piece of flint. And a leather bag. You can burn the leather one. bag if you, or eat it if you get hungry. I don't know if that's genuine leather or not. It might, it might be imitation. It's got their logo on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, here's the idea. Let's see if this right here sparks. I don't think I've tried this one. I've hit it a few times. Yep. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not. Need a little, it's windy out here, okay? The wind is your friend. Yeah. That's good. Don't blow away, Birchie. We're gonna use the Indian head to hold the, the, the flames for us. Yeah, oh, it's, oh, God. It went that way, though. Yeah. Come closer, watch us. Ooh, 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 ooh. It burned it a little hole in it. I'm not that good at this. I gotta get the flame just right. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm busting my knuckle up. But. Maybe if somebody hold the, the birch bark in their hand or something. Damn, put a hole in that sucker. Not gonna catch, cause I think this has gotta be fluff. But anyway, let me try this. Let's see if the setup is right, right out the box, so to speak. Sorry for the shakiness, but we got it. Gotta work what we got. Ooh, 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 ooh. It almost did. Yeah, I see that. It's not quite charred enough. Why don't you try some char cloth? Well, that's what this is supposed to be. It's supposed to be charred on the end. Where's your lighter? You got a lighter? Yeah, we got a lighter. Uh, 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 ah, there it is. Cookie's got everything. He's totally prepared. Now, I, this is cheating. What he's doing is pre-charting uh, the thing so you can make a fire. Right. It didn't, it didn't look to me like it was that charred right out the box. Or out the bag, so to speak. And see, this is what you end up with is actual glowing chart and I want to make sure that's totally out <laughs> that mother oh I just wetted it that wasn't good that mother is totally charred, charred now yeah do it this away this away I think I just messed up I licked it with my finger yeah okay hey look at the piece of bark let's put her out there we go now, if you can light this, you can light the birch bark, and we can have a fire, and we can eat tonight. Oh, we're going to eat. <laughs> Ooh, that I hurt. Get up. Let's see here. I'm losing sharpness on this rock. I got lost sharpness. Let's try it here. Ooh, good. Ouch! Well, there went my finger. <laughs> Whoever come up with this idea. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, it's is. lit, it's lit. We're going to eat tonight. Now, I don't like this technique because the rest of the braid is not charred. The idea is to put this little piece somehow or another in a tender bundle and blow it into flame. Let's see what happens when we put it to this birchy bark. River birch bark. Ooh, Damn. Ooh man, Ooh, look at right that. They instantly put a burnt mark on it. And the wind's not helping out here, but... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I can't hold on to it. <laughs> <laughs> you burn me! But anyway, we've got our embers, man. Look at that thing just a smoldering. That's the whole idea. Hey, boy, go ahead and give me some pine straw right quick. Hurry up. We're wasting valuable char rope. Cut. Action. Let's try it. Let's try it one more time with the birch bark. Just hold it. Oh, I'm <laughs> telling you, man. Let's hold it still. The the uh, wind is not helping. Here we go. 
There you we go. Tra we transferred our. Co what in? What is this? Pine straw. This is all you brought me? That's that's, that's straw. That ain't pine straw. Hold on, folks. I'll be right back. <laughs> I brought my own light too. See what cookie? Uh huh. Hey, nice look. See? Okay. All right. Let's see if we can light this up. I got it. Do it. That's not trial and error. We uh, we're trying to do trial and error. There we go. Now if we had more of river birch. Some of that more. Shit, this thing's been. Still Boy, this smells so good. It does. All right, I'm gonna try to do this up here. And I've not done this before. Well, it looks like you're doing a good job, my friend. I'm out of breath. Oops, oops. But it looks like you're getting it doing a good job. being stubborn I know what it is I did not process this at all I mean I just grabbed it real quick to shoot the video put this in here lay this on top of it get this thing to where we can create a creator I'm not supposed to spit on it. That stuff is sure is wet there or something. It's ready to catch a fire. It's ready to catch. It's going to burn himself. Oh, 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 it, it, it. It, it is on fire. Oh, you burn oh, yourself. Oh, 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 Jesus. Ah. <laughs> okay. It works. <laughs> what do I do now? Um, I guess you place it on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, he lit uh, some pine needles with the... The thing still won't go out. The iron and the iron flint and steel kit, and I have to admit, Cause with straight it's out the package. Don't need to put it out. Uh, yeah, you can put it out. Actually, the first time using that, it worked. So you have a ready-made fire kit right there. It ain't exactly there like a lighter. Yeah, it's fun. But it was fun to do. <laughs> it comes fun. with a little bag, a metal tuning fork, a yeah. charred cloth wick for oil lamp yeah now you know and, what I and would, i would really suggest there we go. that when you do this um you cut a part of that wick off the part that's chart and do the flint and steel technique that way you can drop that whole piece into your tinder pile and try to blow it in the flame 
and I think it would actually work better than what I just did. I just stuck this in there as you saw that, trying to blow, and it constantly kept burning the cord, but wasn't going to transfer into the tender pile. And from my experience, when you're trying to blow something into flame, you really want that piece of charcoal off of material that you're using. I burnt the hair on my fingers. Look at there. <laughs> you want to be able to blow that ember directly into what you're trying to set on fire. And that's just the only piece of advice I can give you. And that's that's a serious piece of advice from Manland. But other than that, yeah, that hey, was like work. five feet long. And I'll look at it. It's like <laughs> yeah, it's about two, two inches. inches. <laughs> hey, she said two inches satisfied her. <laughs> <laughs> and it did in this, in this case. So it did. Cut and move. <coughs> well, I'll try it out for you. Right. Well, we did a good experiment the uh river bark birch probably worked better if we piled a shitload of it in a big bundle and put it together mm. i bet you that sucker will catch on fire i know to take off probably with that uh uh ferro rod especially yeah oh, man. so that's a pretty cool little device you got there my friend well it's yours it is yours definitely wow. yours well, thank you, man, Lan. I got another item into my arsenal of fire starting. Now I have to get a fire piston. Like I say, learning different ways of making fires out there, well, I'll tell you right now, having that knowledge and actual practice, not just knowledge up here, you got to actually, actually do, do it. it. You got to actually so do it. So the only thing I didn't do yet is the bow and the uh, one you help, you got to help her. You got two pieces of stick and a rope, and the other person's holding the stick and the thing, and the other one's doing this. Yeah, kind of like it's still the it's still the bow drill, but it's, it's the, the still bow drill, but it, it's the two people. It helps when you got a helper. <laughs> yeah, two people. But I'm so, gonna tell you right now, that bow drill's off. <laughs> that's probably why I'm raising. I don't want to try it. it but it, hey, watch this. There would be a lot of editing on this freaking video. <laughs> Entertaining. Oh, cool. Check that out. All right. This is. That's the. All right. I'm going to give out some shout outs. The first shout out goes to the other Deadpool. Go check him out. He has some good content about different types of games and videos and so, so forth. Check out Papa Texas and Papa Kitchen. There are, he's also a good guy. He shows you all kinds of good stuff on the kitchen, how to cook chicken, beef, you name it. And Papa Texas talks about YouTube and other people. So go check them out. Go check out Doc Murders. He's also a good person to tell you about YouTube, what to do, how to get more subscribers, blah, blah, blah. Go check out Dark Matter. What was it, Ben 17? Artist Ben 7? Artist Ben 7. Go check him out. He has the best comedy every time I go there. Comedian Com Artist Ben 7. Comedian Artist Ben 7. They change their channel names too many times. I know. <laughs> go check out him. If you want comedy, go check out him. He is funny as hell. I always say he's a nut. And go check out The Ranger. The Ranger. If you can't find The Ranger, type in where can you find 20 feet of rope. Then I want you to go check out. Go ahead and check out Manland. He's right there. He is a comedy guy. He's funny as hell. Go check him out. And the last person, oh, uh, oh, shout out. Go check Dolly Paolini of Dolly Paolini uh, Outdoors. He has good, good content. And I have so many other shout outs I need to do, but there's a few today. And a VR to Shane's World. Thank you for the package. The Indian Head. The River Birch Bark. And the rest will go into the next giveaway I have. So thank you, Sh Shawane. Shawane World.
And thank you to Mark Manland, Average Manland, for the pretty cool gift of the uh, Flint and Steel. And the last thing I want to ask, if any YouTubers have a fire piston they like to trade, sell, or just give because their heart's so big, please send it to me because I'm looking for one to add to my arsenal of fire starting stuff. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy my shout out in VR to Shawane box uh, letter, uh, damn it, leather opening for mail call. All right, see you next video.